Hey everyone, Yanni Plays here and today we are going to play something different than Minecraft. We are going to play 100 Days. 100 Days is a wine simulator. So you're trying to get the best grape and make the best wine. And then at the end of the season you are trying to sell it for the highest possible way. And I think it's not a typical management game so it is it is quite different and i like what they're doing it is a very calm and relaxing game and so far i completed the story mode i think it has a pretty interesting story now, of course it's not a red dead redemption 2 story uh but still the developer and that's a small indie development uh, company that is uh, making this game so they put a lot of thought into the story mode but today we are just going into the endless mode and we are just going to leave everything on standard and we click on start and this game here is pretty much how my usual weekend goes you have too much to do but not enough time so as you can see i just plopped down one of those tiles so that means that in the vineyard that we have over here, it's going to take us two turns to uh, get this job done. And I unfortunately cannot place the other tiles. So we just have to get that done first. And then we're going into our next turn. Now, after a while, you of course can buy more vineyards and you can extend your working tiles. And as you can see, the summer is already coming to an end. But we still have another task that we have to do. We have to thin our crops. And then our next activity is already going to be the harvest. But of course, currently we cannot do the harvest because we are still thinning out the crops. Now let's take a quick look on all the buildings that we have around. So up here we have our tool shed. And in a tool shed, we can upgrade different machines or we can buy machines. So, for example, I can go down into the shop and now you can see, well, we can buy some different tractors. We can buy different machines that help us do different things. Or we can buy different rooms. Then over, over in the winery, we have to buy our different tanks and barrels where we store our wine or age our wine. Uh, then we have different machines that we need so that we can actually uh, process our wine, presses, and all that wonderful stuff. So as of right now, we just have a simple small tank. We don't have any barrels, so we need to get some that we can age our wine. But we have a bottling machine and we have a crusher. We also have a simple press. And then over in our warehouse, we can store our wine. Because of course, we need to store our wine until it is sold. Let's go ahead and harvest our wine and you can see harvest is taking up most of your time and the most of your fall. So the whole fall we were harvesting. Well, let's go ahead and see what we are going to do with our grapes. Well, since we're at the beginning of the game, we don't have any way to sell those grapes. As you can see, we don't have the trailer. So that means that we have to make wine out of it. But I think that's a good idea because we have a good quality and it is going to give us a small amount of wine here. And we're just going to drop that into our fiberglass tank. That's the only one that we have available. So that means that we have to start crushing. Now, if we go into the top right, we are going to see a whole bunch of information and that is where we can do our different board upgrades. And of course, also upgrades to our tool sheds, to the winery or to the warehouse itself. And since I would like to age my wine, I actually go into winery, we go into aging and we are going to buy the technology to then buy a cask. And I am also going to buy some of the board upgrades because the first is a very cheap one. But then after that, as you can see, now it's already 20,000. So after that, it gets expensive very quickly. And then let's head over into the winery and buy the large cask. So that's the only one that we can buy right now.
And then also here you can see we just have certain amount of space in here. So also here, if you want too much, you will have to start to expand. And now it's already winter. And as you can see, it is snowing. And when it's snowing, some of the tasks you actually cannot complete. So, so let's go on pruning. And as you can see, it tells you the shape, it tells you how it's take, and it also tells you that this pruning can only be done when the weather is clear. And it gives you some more information on why do we have to prune wine. So and that's a part of the game that I really like. I mean, I, I like to have a glass of wine here and there, but I am all about games that I actually learn something. So if you go through and read everything, you actually learn quite a lot about how wine is made. And I believe that the developers actually spent quite a bit of time around vineyards. It is a smaller studio. I think they're out of Italy. It's called the Broken Arms uh, Studio. And I think they did a really good job here. So now we have two different things that we can do. So with our wine, we can start and ferment it. And then of course, with our vineyard itself, we can start pruning it. And I am going to prune it first. And also if you click R on your keyboard, you can um, rotate everything. And now we have to select, well, how many of the buds do we want to cut off? How many do we want to leave? And you can see down here at the bottom, it is going to change. So if I leave a lot of buds on, then I'm getting not as good of quality, but I'm getting more of quantity. So if I just want to mass produce wine, but don't have the best one. And then if I go and cut most of it out, then I'm just not getting as many grapes. So I'm not getting as much wine, but the quality of the wine is going to be much better. For now, I'm just going somewhere in the medium. Um, because my vineyard doesn't have a good name yet. I don't have a lot of fame or anything. So I'm just trying to get a good balance. And I believe in fermentation, it's going to be the same. We are going to have to select a few different things. So here we now have to ferment our wine. And depending on what we are doing, you can see it is changing uh, here, for example, it is reducing the sweetness. So as long as we ferment, the less sweetness we have. Now, there is going to be another step coming up uh, next that is going to help us increase a few of those things. And as of right now, that's our very first wine that we're making. So we don't even know what is the best trade for this wine. But if I remember it from the last time, on the Barbero, we actually want to have a lot of sweetness. So we don't want to go too low. So for right now, I'm just leaving it on short. Then in the next step, we have to tell the game, well, how many times do you want to uh, pump over or punch down? And that is just going to change our tannin level. Uh, tannin is kind of the, the bitterness of the wine, if I understand that correctly. So if we go and we punch down, we get more of that and uh, if we leave it at nothing then you can see it stays the same again if i remember from the last time on this wine here my best results were if i left it on nothing all right our two tasks are down so let's go ahead and press this wine so on here we now select well how much uh force do we want to use on our press if we go very high, we're actually getting more wine out of it, but it's lower quality. If we set the press intensity super low, then we don't get a lot of wine out of it, but the quality of the wine is going to be better. And here I am trying to increase the body just a little bit. You can see if I go here in this area, it gives me one more body. And that's what I'm trying to go for that I have that extra body, but not the extra tannin. And now we're on our last day of winter and then spring is going to be a very busy season because now we still have to work on our old one. The one from last year, the 2021, we have to age it and we have to bottling. 
And we also have to start working on our vineyard again to make sure that we are producing a quality wine. So let's see how we set up the board the best way possible. So bottling for now we can ignore because I want to go and age it. And I'm trying to age it as long as possible because I'm in this red wine I want to have a very high body. So that's going to take me a total of three turns. And then both of those here are going to take me two turns. And of course bottling now I can't do because I'm aging the wine. And now our aging is done so let's go ahead and put that wine into a bottle. So here now we have a lot of different things that we can change so we can since it's a red wine I don't want to have a clear bottle I want to have a dark bottle but you can see that the the prices change so where the clear bottle is uh, 0.5 the dark one is 0.7 and the green one is even more but for now I just go with the dark one we can change the shape of the bottle now I just leave it on the, the cheapest one closer I would like to go with cork. Yeah, I think we can... We can splurge that. And then we also can change our label. So as you can see, that is going to cost me uh, 2,700 euros and if I would have gotten the tile extension of the board, that would have been 20,000. I actually would not have had enough money to bottle everything. And if you can bottle, then you can sell. So that pretty much almost would have been the end of the game already. So we're going to do that. It is going to take us one turn to get that bottled. And then after that, we can start it with tasting and finally make some money here. <coughs> So let's see how everything tastes and we have to clean our equipment. And that actually is something that as fast as possible I want to upgrade because then cleaning is going to take quite a bit less time. Also as you saw, as long as you haven't started anything you can still move your tiles around but as soon as you start, so if, the, if so if we go here to the next month, see now I cannot drag this one around, so. Alright, let's see how our wine is. We have 80 out of 100. That is not too terribly bad. And up here now you can see on this wine, the sweetness is perfect and the tannin is perfect. So the body is not good uh, because we don't have the star. So we either need more body or less body and it is what I know I think it's one or two more and then the same with the acidity we have to find out where is the acidity uh, supposed to be and then this one here at uh, the typicity uh, as you can read it doesn't really is a scientific term it just kind of tells you how your wine compares to other wines out of this area here and of course you can look over all the things that you did so you can take notes and okay well the next time we try to uh, change the price a little bit or we age it a little bit longer or not as long uh, from what vineyard is it coming do we have to change anything there so but for us important we need to make money so we are trying to sell that and as of right now that is going to be our estimated selling price so that's the price that we should get for a bottle but of course as soon as we go into large quantity the price is going to drop and we're going to get different offers and then we have to say do we want to accept those offers or not now you can see in the top right we have a few things that popped off we have some special orders and we have a new order so if you go into the wine orders you can see uh, this person here would like to have 45 bottles 
uh, but also wants quite a bit of a discount but as of right now I am just trying to sell whatever I can then we also have special orders and in the special orders uh, this person here would like to have a red wine and our wine is a red wine so that's good quality at least 60 out of 100 and we have more than uh, 60 so we have 80 so this wine here actually would work for us but he wants a 10% discount yeah I'm going to sell that as you can see it gives me almost $11,000 uh, 1440 per bottle but that is going to give us some good cash flow but that is where we're going to end this episode. If you want to see more of this one here, uh, give me the thumbs up because that's a sign that you would like to see more. Or go down into the comments and drop a quick comment. And if I get good response to that, then we are going to continue this series here. If not, we are just going to switch to a different game. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you at my next video. Thank you and goodbye.